stroke is the leading cause of disability in the U.S. Things that you and I take for granted, things like lifting a cup or brushing your teeth, moving from one room to another, stroke can make those things nearly impossible. Good therapy can make a huge difference in patient's recovery, but we don't always know the best approach to use for each patient. We want to find ways to target therapy so that stroke patients can recover faster. My name is Pontia Hideri, and I received the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship. One potential therapy that we can use in the clinic is called action observation therapy. The theory behind this comes from the mirror neuron system, which is a system in your brain that gets engaged when you observe someone else performing an action, and then when you yourself perform that same action. Mirror neuron activity sets the stage so that you can perform an action later on. A lot of clinicians have done this kind of therapy already, and there's been mixed results. Some patients benefit from this, others don't. So what if with a functional MRI, you could see which region of the brain is activated to what degree, and then use that as a factor when determining what kind of therapy that patient should have. With each patient, we're looking at specific regions of interest within the brain, and we're trying to see what kind of functional activity is in those areas when patients observe, execute, or imitate a task. We're first gonna look at the group level analysis and see if stroke patients as a whole engage the system a little bit differently than healthy control patients and then we're going to see if their lesion will dictate whether or not they engage the system, to what degree they engage the system. This data can help us understand why some stroke patients respond to action observation therapy and others simply don't. This type of research hasn't been done before. We're the first group to really look at different conditions and see how those conditions engage the mirror neuron system in stroke patients. We want to get individuals with stroke to get back to their pre-stroke lifestyle, to doing the things that make them happy, to running, to moving around, to get them to be satisfied with their quality of life.